Right. So, uh, no, no, but, don't say right, because it's about my safety, because you're in my domain, and if you're here to help me, you can't say, well, my safety is because I have no weapons. Please leave. Okay. I'm asking you so to leave. So, you don't put him on a gurney, handcuff him to the rails, take him to the hospital, tell him that, tell the doctor that he's complaining that he's got previous back injuries, and he fell in a couple position, he was, and you need to clear him. That way, it takes all the liability off of you guys, takes it off the city. I think it'll be. I think, it'll, I think it'll be the. I mean, the most. That'll be the best thing to do. Sounds good to me. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. Welcome back to FAQ: The Madness. We respectfully exercise our First Amendment right to publish interactions with government officials through the unbiased view of a camera. Let's jump into another rep. Yeet, yeet, recording. In 2019, California Veterans Crisis Hotline requested the LAPD department conduct a welfare check on a potentially suicidal individual. Officers Ibana and Wheeler made contact with Douglas Slade at his front door. that you were threatening to commit suicide. That's not true. Okay, so what I'm here for is just to make sure you're not going to do something like that. You understand? So if you need our help, that's what, what I'm here for. I'm okay. So we're not here to mess with you, bother you, or anything Well, you do understand if you just walk in my place and you just automatically start walking around. And I know y'all wear body cams as well. I'm ex law enforcement too. If you just come in my place like that and you just start walking around, you have to have my permission to do that. So I don't appreciate that. You can't violate my rights because you got to call to help. Okay. Me. So you're not you're not helping me if you just come in and you automatically start violating. Well, my sir, rights. it was more for like officer safety. No, it's, it's not office. officer safety because I don't, I didn't even have to let you in. Right. So uh, no, no, but don't say right because it's about my safety because you're in my domain and if you're here to help me, you can't say. Well, at this point, Slade has asked the officers to leave not less than seven times. He doesn't give even the slightest indication that he's not willing to cooperate. Officer Ruler can be seen observing Douglas Slade dial 911, to which he says, Now you're going to be arrested. I'm asking you to leave my arrest. I'm about to put you in handcuffs, sir. If you do that, that's your choice. Okay, turn around. Put your hands around. Why would you put me in handcuffs? Turn around, put your hands around your back. What have I done? You're going to listen to what I said, you're going to put down the phone, you're calling 911, and I'm standing right here. But what have I done? Put down the damn phone! Why are you Turn cursing around and at put me? Your hands Why are you your using back. profanity Put your hands me? behind your back. Why are you using... Because, you know what? You're calling 911, we're standing right in front of you. Well, I'm asking you sense? to leave my residence. I'm not leaving your place now. Turn around, put you your hands behind your back. You said you came here to help I'm not me. doing that now. Right. Put your hands behind your back. You're calling 911 right in front of us. Because I asked you to leave my residence. We can't leave. You know this. determined. You know this. You know exactly what I'm talking about. No, if I you were law enforcement, then you would understand. Okay. And this is why African Americans have issues with law Don't enforcement. Don't start that. Don't start that. That's a bunch of I nonsense. asked you to leave, and you used profanity at someone? That's okay. I could use that. Oh, really? For so someone yes. who you concerned about yes. doing something to themselves? Hey, you know what? When you're not listening to commands, what did you do? That wasn't a command. 
All right. A command for me to ask you to leave my residency? You got you, you got to command me. us to do. I that. can ask you to leave if you're not supposed. Why are you here? You were here to help me, and I are here because somebody wanted us to check. And you. I and I told you I was fine. And then you started exacerbating my condition. You need, Why are you putting your hand up like for me not to speak? You can't help a person if you don't want to listen to what they are saying. If I ask you to leave because you're exacerbating my disability, which clearly you're aware I'm a person with a disability because you already observed number one, you see a sign right here. The saying that yeah. number two. How do I know what that is? Yeah. What is that? Oh well, how do you? What do, what do you how do you know I don't have one? You could, but guess what? If you had one and you came in my residency and I so, came, so you're, you're, you're the say, victim you, here, right? You're the victim here, right? Well, you guys are, vic are victimizing me, and now I'm in cuffs. Well, you're in cuffs now because of the way you're acting. Why? I asked Who else not is here? To my place. Don't, don't. Why are you grabbing me? I'm not doing anything. Relax. Relax. But I asked you not to move Relax. around my place. Relax. You know what? You can you could call up whoever you talk to and tell them, explain to them Sir, why we're here. Who says I want to step on your rug? You might, why are you acting are like these your shoes? See, yes, they okay, are. Okay, good. You can put them on. You have ID with you? Uh, I do, but I need to get it. I can't get it. I'm, uh, Where's your ID? Would you please remove your hands off of me? No, I will not. I'm not no, I will not. No, I will not. And I recommend you don't resist. So put your shoes on. Why would I resist so you y'all can Go put ahead, my put your shoes on? That's what y'all want to do anyhow. What's your problem? You? You know what? We came here because you called for help. I, I didn't, didn't, call, I didn't call you. I didn't call you. Who would you call? I did not call. Who you. did you call? I didn't call you. Who do you think they're going to call? I don't know. No. Obviously, I wouldn't want them to call you all. Well, they did. Okay. Okay. Well, and now you're you're in our custody mm -hmm. because you're Wheeler is the first to mention that Douglas Slade is being detained for a 5150 hold. Now, in California, a person can be placed on an involuntary psychiatric hold or 5150 if, due to a mental illness, they are determined to pose a danger to themselves others or if they are gravely disabled meaning they cannot provide for their own food clothing or shelter and if you're going on a 5150 hold i shouldn't be on a 5150 hold why don't you that's a that's an abuse of authority to put someone on a 5150 hold who has okay. no these your keys to your apartment sir they are the keys. okay Enforcement, the way you're acting. I don't, I don't, I can't believe you're a law enforcement either. But you are. Yep. Which yeah, we yeah. see it all too often in terms of how law enforcement acts. Act toward two. Hey, could you go to let Aaron, go let Aaron know that I'm being unlawfully detained? Don't worry could about Could you do that for me? Aaron. I don't know. The lease, the, the manager here. Could you let him know? Could you let him know? Aaron. Yeah, you could be don't tell Donna for me. Will you go tell Donna for me? No, I'm right here, Donna. John, go, go tell Aaron that I'm being unlawfully detained. Aaron. Yes. For no reason. For no reason whatsoever. You called us, sir. I did not call you. You called us. Oh, I called you, so you... Yeah. Why are you using the, the arm bar on me? I'm turning around. What are you... Oh, I got to face this way now? Yes, you do. And why is that? What you how what you mean how am I acting? I hope this is gonna be worth it to you. I hope it's gonna be worth it. I really do. Can I get a job to do, sir? Yeah, not the way you're doing it. No, it's not for you to say. It, it is for me to say. I'm a citizen. You're supposed to protect and serve me. Well that's what we're doing. Unfortunately, when it comes to black people, you all never do. No, I don't I, uh, I don't disagree with that. Well, don't pull me. You, I, what you mean don't, don't pull, pull you? I'm walking. Don't I'm walking. Me. What you mean? Don't pull you. You think I'm, How here just, you you think I'm just here for the fun of it? Yeah, apparently you decided to escalate the matter. Do you think I'm yes. here for the fun of I it? Do. Yes, I do. You okay. escalated the matter. You escalated the matter. You will be sitting down in this car, okay? Why wouldn't I not sit down in this Good, car? thank you, sir. The officers placed Mr. Slade under arrest. His initial engagement with the officers was respectful and unalarming. He allowed them access into his home. Even when he withdrew his invite, he did so calmly and still the officers ignored his request for them to leave and even ventured into areas Slade had previously forbidden access to. 
As Mr. Slade was adamant that he'd mentioned nothing to the level of harming himself or someone else, calling 911 was lawful and merely an effort to get the officers to leave. The worst thing you could do is make a 911 call right in front of us. Well, it's not going to happen. Is there an extension on there? That's fine, sir. Not when I'm there, sir. Yeah, what do you mean, not when you're there? It's, it's, if I ask you to leave... Well, you're not going to let me answer? Then I'm not going to answer. Okay, but no. You have a lot of Actually, what you did was against the law. It's not against the law. What you did was against was against my rights, so it was against the law as well. Your badge does not allow you to deny a person their constitutional rights. When I asked you to leave, you should leave. You asked me, I told you that I was in, in, in no danger to myself or others. You did not, and you noticed that based upon your observation. So when I asked you to leave, I think I think that I started to exaggerate my disability. You should have left. You don't get me because I'm asking you to leave my residence because you're engaging in unethical and appropriate behavior. Okay, the handcuffs are hurting me. I, I, I've already advised you that I'm against the veterans. Uh, using the handcuffs in the position of my arms is causing a severe exacerbation on my right side. I have cervical and nickel Okay, give me one second. I will. Give me. No, I will not put them in the front. Well, you need to move them because this is I will fix them, though. I will fix them. I told you I, that's what I'm going to do, so okay, be quiet. Well, I need it soon because my that's disability is being exacerbated. And then you're going to raise the force to kill somebody. Hey, you, you won't let me get a you're word in edgewise. Get up. Get out. Get out. Get out. You can speak to me in a different tone, this word. You don't need to scream. And don't say that I am because you claim you're supposed to be helping me. It's the right. These cuffs are just fine. And it's not that it's loose, it's a position on my arm. What are you talking about? I have a, okay, you are aware that I'm a disabled veteran, right? Are you sure? Yeah, okay, well, that's what I you're saying. I have several covered You see, there's plenty of room there. No, it's not about the room, it's there's a position on my arm. Well, how do you want your arms? I, I need this cuff to be removed, so from the front. You know what? The cuffs wouldn't be on you if you weren't acting the okay, way you whatever. are. Acting by exercising my constitutional okay, rights. Okay, I just, I just checked your cuffs. Get okay, in. it's not the cuffs, it's the positioning on my arms. I requested the accommodation. That's, that's uh, how the LAPD does no, our handcuffs. You can also make a seat. You can, so, that's the purpose of asking for a reasonable accommodation. And that was the reasonable no, accommodation. No, the reasonable accommodation is to re reposition my arm because it's exacerbated. Reposition my it how? I need it in the front because it's exacerbated. That's not how we, do, have, that's not how we do our the, handcuffs. The, well, the thing about asking for a reasonable accommodation is a policy exception. No, we don't you, have a policy exception yes, for that. Yes, you do. Everyone no. complies by you can have okay, a No, 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 police do not. Police do not. I just explained to you what we did. You haven't done anything. It has nothing to do with the cuffs and positioning of my arm. Oh, my Lord. Hey, hey, I need help, dude. So you're going to sit there and just completely ignore a person's question of people who Mr. Slay. Hey, you know what? Call a supervisor. Mr. Slay, what's your birthday? I, uh, call a supervisor. I'm requesting a security officer. Hey, we're going to take you to see one. You need to leave now, man. I'm All right, we're going to take you right Hey, this is uh, Wheeler from Central Division. How are you? Good. I'm out here in the field, and we have a, um, uh, this, uh, we got a radio call of a second-hand uh, 
caller from uh, the Veterans Crisis Hotline. And anyways, we're out to his place. According to the uh, comments, he was considering committing suicide. That's not we're true. Here, we're here at scene. Um, have him in custody, but we cannot get a hold of uh, the actual PR who was calling from the um, Veterans Crisis. It is... Douglas, D-O-U-G-L-A-S. Slay, Sam Lincoln, Adam Young. What's that? I don't have a, did he give you a birthday? He's not, he's not giving us a birthday. That's what he's saying, yes. He said he did call them, but he did not threaten to commit suicide. 1X45. Can I get a supervisor for our location? Any control, supervisor meet 1X45, 255 South Run. 105. Let's get this here. 2919. Yes. I really could use some help. Douglas, this, this Douglas, is... will you listen to me for a second? I have been listening. Okay. You haven't been listening I'm to me. I'm not here. I'm not here to fight you, argue you with you. You already have. Listen, will you, you just hear me out for a second? No, I don't need to hear you. You got me in fucking Hear me coast. for a second. I don't need to. Don't, you don't need to talk to me. I asked for accommodation. You can't help. Don't try to, don't try to, you know, deviate from what y'all did out there. It's okay. You can say whatever you like. I know I can. You don't have to tell me. I already know I can. Yeah. Tell me he's got spine issues from uh, previous injuries. And, and from you putting your hands on me, there was an additional injury as well. Okay. I know okay. That's fine. Okay. Roger. And see, I can tell you now, if you look at that right there, I'm not 38 years old either. But um, we don't know how old you are. I, I, I'm telling you now. How old but are guess you? what? When you came, how old are you? I'm not telling you. You look 38 to me. Uh, I could take that as a compliment, but I'm not. Because when you came in my room, in my residence, I respectfully let you let you guys in. And the way you escalated the matter, because I asked you to leave, is problematic. That's so that would that should have been one of the first things you did to make sure that you actually had the right person. That's one of the first things you should have done when you came in. What? Which is what? Make sure you had the right person. We asked you what your name was. I, and did I not provide that? You said, yes, my name's Douglas. Well, hi, Douglas. That's exactly what we did. Oh, so a person only have a... a oh, by a the way, name. the people here said you live there. What people said that? The, the, the management. No, you didn't talk to management. You didn't talk to management. It's all recorded, sir. So who in management you spoke to? It's none of... It's, what you, you mean it's none of my business? Oh, are you not transparent now? See, that's my point about how... I don't need to tell little. you who I spoke to. Yeah, yes, you can. If I got that me, information. You you, the same way I don't have to answer anything you ask. It's just you abuse your authority. I didn't abuse you. What was abuse, sir? You'll find out. What was the abuse? You're going to find out. Okay. You already know anyhow. Yeah, it's all like recorded. I've asked a reasonable accommodation on multiple times, and I still haven't gotten one. We do not move handcuffs to the front. That's not what we you, do. You can, well, figure out something else to do to stop the exacerbation. How would I do that? Oh, you're the professional. What's a good idea? You, no, you're the professional. Well, you're law enforcement. No, no, I said I'm ex-law enforcement. And you know what? So tell me what you would have done. So what agency were you with? Huh? What agency were you with? I'm not answering that question either. And you know what? It's a, it's a crime to tell someone that you're ex-law enforcement if you really wasn't either, right? So come on, give me a break. Please, spare me. Give me a break. Give me a break. Didn't you miss all that? Hmm. Yeah, supervisor would be showing up here. We got a team going to the station, so.
approximately 30 minutes into the interaction, a yeah. supervisor arrives on scene. We called you an ambulance. Hey, sir. I'm, I'm rolling here. Yeah. Okay, so uh, got a call from the VA. Yeah. Uh, apparently, this guy threatened to commit suicide over the phone. Then I hung up the phone, so it generated a call with the VA. VA called us. Get out here. We get up to the apartment. Um, he's in there. Um, he opens the door for us. He actually lets us in. I hang, uh, after a few minutes, uh, start just check and make sure nobody else is in there. Um, we handcuff, um, handcuff him because he immediately gets irate. Starts calling 911 on his phone because now he's asking us to leave. But it's like at that point, I'm already there. So put him in handcuffs. Um, I'm not able to get a hold of the lady from the VA. Whoever puts, whoever uh, called it in, I, I have to try to find her extension somehow. Um, but he, he's just been completely irate the whole time. Um, he's in handcuffs. He wants his handcuffs in the front. I told him we cannot do that. I made sure his handcuffs were loose enough that weren't restricting any any type of, of uh, issue with his hands or anything like that. But like I said, he's completely 415. He wants a supervisor. Called him an RA. He's got he said he's got pre-existing uh, injuries from the military. Won't answer any of our questions. Won't work with us at, in the slightest. But that's where we're at. Well, to us, at this point, he won't answer any of our questions to do anything. But I and, and then after we got him in handcuffs or anything, I start making the phone calls. Uh, MEU says, "Oh yeah, well, okay, we'll have a team at the station for you to meet us there." Uh, but as far as uh, me verifying what he said with the VA, I can't, you know, can't do that. I just asked that I move this code to the arm for this position. The arm for this position. The arm for this position. The arm Okay, well, that's the whole thing about this matter. How you doing, sir? Uh, he's, he's, this guy's been very difficult with us. He's, he's in custody for uh, 5150 evaluation. The thing is, he has prior uh, uh, injuries to his back, I, I guess the C-spine issue or something from previous injury in the military or something like that okay. and he requested an ambulance so here we are um, but it's I mean so there, I know there's nothing you can so really he's see. ambulatory on scene walking talking oh, yeah. awake and alert yeah and we're going to the hospital because you know what if he says if, if he says he doesn't want to go does he uh, still have to go oh, I'm, is this, he, so I'm is asking he in custody yes okay so he's going to so he's so we're here because he says he doesn't want to go buy a squad car. He wants to go buy a name. No, why you're here is I was going to take him to the station to get evaled uh -huh. by our mental evaluation people, uh -huh. but he has been so difficult with us, and now he's claiming he's got previous back injuries and wants us to reposition his handcuffs, and we can't do that. Okay. So that that's that's where we're at. All right. I got the tail end of that. So what are we? What well, are, we're, what are you we're, guys here for? We're here for a mental evaluation. Okay. And so when we have him in handcuffs, he doesn't obviously like being in handcuffs. So now he's complaining we need to move his handcuffs to the front. We can't do that. So okay. he's saying it's irritating his, yeah, his nice previous course, uh, injuries from from the military. Did you have any medical complaint before you guys got down here? No. no. Oh, uh, um, yeah, I think it's our. I mean, yeah. So if they don't transport, then um, yeah, we'll just take them to the station. I mean, there, there's nothing medically. I think. All right. So there's nothing medically. So here's the deal. How much time you have on? Twenty. I have thirty-four. 
So the smartest thing is going to be put them on a gurney, handcuff them to the rails, take them to the hospital, tell them that, tell the doctor that he's complaining that he's got previous back injuries and he fell in comfort position he was, and you need to clear him. That way it takes all the liability out of you guys, takes it off the city. I think it'll be the, I think it'll, sounds, I think it'll be the only the most it'll be the best thing to do. Sounds good to me. Okay. We got so we're on the same What page. information does, does he have? So all I need is his is, is, you know his, his name, his name, birth date, address he's got for his homeless. But we'll basically do that. So, okay. He's not good enough as so well. where do you guys want to go? Do you want to go to County USC or do you want to go to Good Sam? Let's go to uh, Good Sam. How's that sound? All right. And we'll just let him be seen there. Yeah. There we go. And then he gets a seat by the doctor. I can't see. I just think that'll be the most sense. Yeah. 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 He's being seen by the doctor. Come on out. We're gonna get you to the hospital, and we'll have the doctor evaluate you there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that in the chair. Make sure they'll unhandcuff you and put one hand on each rail, so you'll be in a more comfortable position. Wow. Okay. And then we'll take you. John, did you let Aaron know? Hey, have we'll a seat here for him. To the hospital, and you have a doctor sit there and clear you, make sure you're all right. All right. Here, if you can lead forward for me. Here, actually, here, stand up here for a second. Could you stop putting your hands on me? I know, I have to. I'm going to get up sure myself, though. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just going to make sure. I'm you asking stand. you to remove your hand. You no, I'm not. Arm. Stand up, okay, please. See, I just requested it again. Hey, John, come here for a second. So, 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 basically, they got a call from a VA. Okay, sit back. Sit back. I, I, I let them in my, I let them in my residency. The first thing they do when they come in, oh, we got a call for this or that. And I say, and then I tell them, that's not true. Yeah, we'll just have them uh, evaluated there by the, the physician. Central unit, four four nine five one two hundred north, range two hundred north. Don't be telling everybody that. I can tell people what the hell I want. Yeah, you're, you're, you're going that's for that's an evaluation. Yeah, that way. Yeah. Yeah. He wants. He wants medical help. He gets medical help. And yeah. Just, hey, yeah. And then they can just tell the doctor. Exactly. To LAPD's credit, although there is plenty of instances where they have redacted information, it is clear the majority of the interaction is recorded. There will be a link to the story in the description and. The and comment as well as the full redacted videos that have been submitted by the Los Angeles Police Department. So if you're taking me to some county or whatever, I'm not going to get treatment. I'm not going to get treatment. I'm going to refuse the treatment. Okay. So y'all might as well take me downtown. I'm going to get treated at the VA. All right, you can do whatever you decide. To do. No, I'm telling you now, I'm going to refuse the treatment. So go ahead and All take right. me to the station. Go ahead and take me to the station. I'm telling you now, I'm... I only get treated at the VA. Um, as you are aware, a person, a person do have a choice of where they want. I will not be treated there. So go ahead and take me to the station. I'm not being treated. That's all I want. Okay, 16493. Okay, grade 70. I'm good. So do not waste your time and take me to anywhere that's not the VA. I am not going. Okay, we'll do. Because all that is is just a request, right, for an evaluation. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Okay, we'll do. Okay, bye. Where'd my radio go? Did I leave it in the RA? So I just tell the doctor? Yeah, and uh, no, uh, we will uh, assess him and then we'll call the detective. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's better that way. <laughs> okay, yeah, because normally we yeah. fill it out, but I'll just let the doctor know and then the yeah. doctor can do whatever. Okay. Thank you. Okay, sure. Is the RA open, sir? 
Thank you for watching. If you have a video you'd like for us to cover, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of future content. Be sure to check out all of the other content we have for your edutainment. We will continue to respectfully exercise our First Amendment rights and published interactions we have with government officials. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment. It's the easiest way for you to let us know your thoughts about our channel. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place. I'll this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose it fits. Some loose shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh.